Hello, in this video we will understand about the obesity. Uh, due to the mitochondrial dysfunction and insulin resistance and interplay uh, in adipocytes we will discuss in this video. So basically remember the adipose tissue are present in our body used for the storage of fat. The store fat uh, in adipose tissue as a energy reserve. But the obesity means the excessive storage of the fat is known as the abnormal development of adipose tissue is known as obesity. This is the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue will not function properly. The dysfunction of the adipocyte will lead to cause obesity and increase the fat. Let's learn about the mechanism of the adipocyte for the normal metabolism. This is the blood circulatory system and when we will, we will eat food, we will enter into the glucose absorption and the hyperglycemia will occur and the hyperlipidemia will occur even will trigger the pancreas. When trigger the pancreas, the beta cell of the pancreas will lead to produce more insulin. The elevation of the insulin will bind with the insulin receptor tyrosine kinase receptor when bind will activate the GLUT4 channel. And whenever the GLUT4 channel will activate, the adipocyte will be uh, uh, absorb the glucose in the form of facilitated diffusion. And in this way, the mitochondria is used to produce more ATP and heat. That is why it is known as brown adipose tissue. And the mitochondria is here. Fatty acids are also used for the beta oxidation. And in this way, the beta oxidation produces ATP more. Wherever the mitochondria will be dysfunction will decrease the ATP. So anyway, whenever the ATP will increase due to the beta oxidation will inhibit the PGC1 alpha and uh, trigger via a ATP decrease. So acetylation and deacetylation will occur. The peroxisome proliferative activated receptor co-activator 1 alpha PGC1 alpha Basically, it is known as the master regulator of biogenesis of mitochondria. Whenever the mitochondria when increase more, it means the obesity chances will be decreased. So the PGC1 alpha is responsible for the production of more mitochondria number via our application. Anyhow, let's begin to understand the adipocyte here is a bigger picture the cytoplasm of the adipocyte and the inner is the mitochondria let's understand about whenever the insulin will bind due to the hyperglycemia the glute channel 4 will be open due to the insulin receptor triggering in this way the glute vesicle will be uh, enter into the cytoplasm and in this uh, sorry plasma membrane and glucose will enter into the cytoplasm and the glycolysis will lead to produce pyruvate this pyruvate will enter into the mitochondria, remember. But here is the cytoplasm, this is the plasma membrane, and this is the mitochondria. When the pyruvate will enter, it will convert into the acetyl-CoA and carbon dioxide will be released. And in this, the carbon dioxide will be released. Well, this is the electron transport chain. This is a fatty acid. This fatty acyl-CoA will be formed from the fatty acids into the cytoplasm to go into the mitochondria and the uh, basically the fatty acyl coa will be formed in the uh, cytoplasm and in this way the acyl coa will be formed into the mitochondria and the beta oxidation will occur will lead to produce more reactive oxygen species when the beta oxidation will produce more and in this way the acetyl coa will be formed from the beta oxidation enter into the Krebs cycle to produce citrate alpha ketoglutarate oxaloacetate this citrate will again convert into the acetyl-CoA and the malonyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA will convert into the free fatty acid, convert into the triacylglycerol as a stored fat. The lipolysis can be again occur but the lipogenesis will occur basically. In this way the accumulation of fat will be possible and this is the basically the electron transport chain used via a Krebs cycle produced a NADH, FADH which that is used for production of more ATP and in this way the elevation of the pro ATP will inhibit the PGC1 uh, alpha. In this way the mitochondrial replication will be inhibit. Mitochondrial, uh, mitochondrial uh, for, uh, uh, oxidative phosphorylation will occur by the using of the oxygen and releasing of the carbon dioxide to produce more ATP. 
and in this way the pyruvate when increase will lead to uh, due to the glycolysis when increase and uh, after the hyperglycemia so the fatty acid elevation also occur will lead to produce more reactive oxygen species due to the beta oxidation anyhow the metabolic intermediates the diacylglycerol the dg is uh, trigger the pkac the protein kinase c and the uh, ceramide this is the metabolic intermediate is the um, two example we will discuss so this is the uh, reactive oxygen species will inhibit the cellular structure of adipocytes damage the cellular structure and mitochondria will be decreased while the metabolic intermediates again i, mean, I am saying that diacylglycerol dg is trigger the protein kinase c pathway and ceramide will trigger the akt in this way here you can see this the mitophagy and ap apoptosis will occur increase and the mitochondrial number will be decrease mitochondrial number will decrease due to the mitophagy and ap apoptosis the decrease of the number of mitochondria will lead to decrease of the energy production but the reserve of the fat will increase in this way the insulin resistance due to the insulin receptor uh, dysfunction due to the metabolic intermediates will lead to dysfunction of the insulin insulin receptor so the glut 4 channel will not create in this way the hyperglycemia will occur will lead to cause type 2 diabetes in this way the impaired insulin sensitivity and type 2 diabetes due to the uh, increase the hypergly hyperglycemia and due to the insulin receptor res resistance due to the metabolic intermediates and hyperglycemia due to the type 2 diabetes mellitus will lead to arteriosclerosis atherosclerosis blindness hypertrophy and many more disease that is why the obesity is the central uh, uh, diseasing process and the obesity and the uh, obesity as well as um, uh, diabetes so the cellular structure of adipocyte when damage will lead to uh, lipid accumulation and the pro-inflammatory cytokines will produce is known as the monocyte chemoattractant protein 1 this is mono as a monocyte chemoattractant protein 1 will trigger the macrophage recruitment will lead to adipocyte hypertrophy as well as the clearance of the uh, uh, lipids and the macrophage will accumulate more um, uh, lipids and in this way the low grade inflammation will increase in this way the fatty acid will be moving to the adipocyte more but the insulin resistance will occur impaired adipose tissue function and in this the mitochondria when decrease will lead to brown adipose tissue decrease and the impaired adipose tissue function and low grade inflammation will occur this low grade and impaired adipose tissue function and low grade inflammation will lead to uh, create the uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus and more insulin receptor resistance that is why the uh, obesity is due to the mitochondrial dysfunction and insulin resistance can be possible by the accumulation of the fat due to the dysfunction of the mitochondria so no more heat as well as atp production from the ucp and the atp synthase will lead to cause accumulation of fat is known as obesity so in summarization the mitochondrial dysfunction will lead to insulin resistance and obesity will lead to inflammation the low grade and the pro inflammatory cytokines will recruit the macrophage and inflammation uh, obesity uh, oxidative stress and the macro uh, mitochondrial dysfunction will lead to produce more reactive oxygen species and the uh, uh, and the mitochondria damage will lead to insulin resistance and adipose tissue dysfunction will occur thanks for watching if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share bye